Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. This episode we're going to do some preparation to go before we go to the end. But first of all I'd like to have a look at one thing that I made sort of a mistake with really. Well I didn't completely understand what it was. And this is to do with the um, two rituals. The crack of the faceted crystal and the gathering of forsaken souls. So let's have a look first of all at the crack of the faceted crystal crystal if I can pronounce that right which I can't so let's get on with that so this ritual is the crack of the fractured crystal um, and what it's doing is it's basically taking the demon will crystal here and as soon as it produces a side one it's getting broken off and then that's going to be absorbed by this one here which is the call of the zephyr and put it into the chest and just above the chest which you can just see it's a transfer an item routing node here and that's taking stuff out of the chest here and putting it into another chest and that's coming back into this crucible over here like that so over time we'll get we get an increase in demon demon world crystals now the, the way to speed this up normally would be to put the next one with the gathering of the forsaken souls below it so let's have a look at this here you've got here a t of um fire stones or fire ritual stones i think these are and on the corners you've got four earth ones and the same pa it's patterns are all the same so you've got a t here and that like that so let's go and set this up now as you would have it in a real in a sort of real world situation as it were <laughs> if that's the right expression since <laughs> it's minecraft so here we've got here this master ritual stone and i've got the ritual divine here which is set up for the crack of the fractured crystal and though i don't want that one first of all i want to put down the gathering of forsaken souls which happens to be the next one along. So let's just set this up. Right click it. This will use 44 ritual stones in here. Now in my inventory I've got a 92 as it happens, ritual stones. Like that. And you'll see it produces this T. Like that. What I want to do is now put another ritual, master ritual stone directly on top of this. I'll leave the, I'll leave the torch in there because that's why I put it there for the first place. Like that. And this one here will now use, if we have a look at this one, um, let's go to the ritual. In fact, I need the ritual diviner out here. So that was the gathering of forsaken souls. And that uses, if you look at it, 44 burns. Sorry, I'm just getting those. I knew I was wrong with that. And then if you left click this one, shift left click it, we get to the crack of the fractured crystal. So let's stand on this again and then put this into place. And what we'll find is we should hope with a hopefully save 20 odd stones because these ones here are shared between the two rituals um we indeed we've got 24 stones it saves that's right because it's got t here which is five five times four plus the four at the end is going to give us 24 and that will then work and i've set this up in the other base uh where the mobs are so it's it's generating reasonable amount of uh, demon will so I'd forgotten about that. Anyway, next thing. Excuse me, playing around with stuff over here. I'm going to go over to the other side and I'll see you in a second. So what we're going to have a look at now, next is the regen part. You'll notice on here, actually my arm is fully repaired. And the reason for that is I've got repairing level one. I think there is only one level of repairing. And it over time will repair the arm, which is great. Now all you have to do to, to get repairing is to have this damaged. Now you'll see healthy is level 5 at the moment. If you press shift and M on this, you'll see that my healthy level is 59. Um, and every time I X and start the game, I, I lose health. In fact, you lose about 10 hearts of health. I'm not sure why. You get, it basically pushes you right down to just having 10 hearts. Probably a bug, actually. So let's go down here, where I've got set up a ritual of regeneration. We come over here like this. Uh, in fact, the ritual of regeneration is up here. It's this one, and you'll see that, of course, my heart, my health is going up. And if I look at this now, and press Shift and M on this again, you'll see it's now already reached 60. And when it reaches 100, it'll go up to the next level. In fact, I should, I'm expecting to get 61 or so before we actually finish this. I'd only have to do to get the next. To, to do this is exit the game and start it again just exit and save and then it'll do another another lesson of 
regenerations for us so you can you can see i'm holding down the shift button so it saves you eating saves you which is saving food because it doesn't really help having extra food there you see now i've got healthy 61. so over time that's just going to increase and we'll get the next heart i'm not sure how the next heart's going to be represented but we'll see that i've got far that far yet and you'll see i'm picking up stuff and go down here again and what's happening I've also once in a while I've told you this before is I'm getting a witch here so I just label the witch and move her across into that one over there and then change where I want her to go to the other thing I've discovered down here is if I put the exact amount of stone I've got stone in here like this if I take out say 32 of these because I want 32 more put exactly 32 back in again and put this orb in the hopper it will do all of those and carry on with the whole eventually put the whole orb back in here so it'll carry on giving me lp and in fact the lp we get is enormous we, we don't have any shortage of lp so the next thing we're going to do we're going to step create a few more sigils one i should have done before and don't ask me why i haven't done it and that's the sigil of air which is basically we need one gas tier now i better get rid of some rubbish while i'm actually here <laughs> great this is picking up too much stuff i'm usually ending up picking up eggs and things like that while i'm here as well some arrows in fact i've actually got these in here tanks blood tanks tier two these are liquid fluid tanks this is actually 32 millibuckets and these things are just amazing if you type the uses of that you can create a tier three which has got 64 and then double again for tier four tier five you a double again six seven eight nine ten and i think it goes up to a, is it 12 13 14 15 16 16 levels of tank see how much that will carry it's like five hundred twenty-four thousand buckets or whatever it's enormous but they're sort of it's the same thing basically it's blank slates and you need a lot of stone for this these things they're easy just stay stones and this is stone level one so a stack of those will make but you need tons of stone for this so basically it's eight stone per ruin and you need five ruins per per thing so let's first of all actually let's just do that because i've got these in my in my inventory i've got two tanks tier two five stones and one bloodstone so if i start the uses of that on here click it in the reason i'm doing this is i want to make the space now i've got a 64 bucket tank blood tank which we can use for storing blood I'm not going to do that today. We'll do that another day. So the next thing, we're going to take out this, these items out of here. I'm also going to put away the ritual stones while I'm thinking about it. Yes. Put away the ritual stones that go in here. Like that. I've got plenty of ritual stones. And... Um, we're going to craft up the next thing. All right, this, yeah, we need to do this in Hellfire Forge. So in the forge here, I've already got a, a greater Tartaric gem, and we just we need we need to create the reagent. So and the reagent is basically two feathers and one gas tier. Will then give us a re, reagent for air sigils. I'm just wondering if I took, didn't pick it up. And then we got the air reagent. While I'm doing that, actually, I'm going to do some more. There's another one here as well. In fact, these as well. I'm going to do a bow. So now we've got the air reagent. I'm going to make four things in the in the forge now. So we'll actually let's just do this one before we do anything else because it's fairly straightforward. Just pick any spot I like, and if only well, that will do fine. Then put in the air reagent into it, and then then it needs the reinforced slate. This is really just a, the air reagent. Basically means you've got to go through the nether, so it isn't too bad. Wait a few seconds and we'll get the air signal. Like that. So we now have one air signal. I'm feeling light already. You'll see I've built a big tower up here. So we can shift right click the air signal and it, it takes us along in the direction we're pointing. But also in here I've got the signal of the claw. Now what the signal of the claw does is it actually allows you to 
jump up and stick onto things. So for instance here, if I press shift and jump onto it and press shift when I land on it, it'll hold, it'll hold my position. So we just jump up like this and press shift, oh, not so good. Let's use the air signal for doing that. So let's say I want to get around about here, um, get the right signal, of course. You have to be you have to actually hit it didn't hit it hard enough then let's do that see oh try again it's actually hard to use this thing so you right click it and when you get to the top you press shift and you let go again it'll do it take you down but you can press um go up to the top of this Whew. long way i've got of course i've got um fall damage protection there we go onto the top of it but you have to land on it you can't just um hopefully touch the side to it I'm going to break this down, but I won't do that now. I'll do that later on. Good viewpoint, though. <laughs> so the next one, we're going to create a second, another signal. Signal of the claw, by the way, was claw reagent. Um, let's have a look at the recipe for this one because I didn't show you that. Claw reagent and an imbued slate. So that's tier four, isn't it? Three. And th this one is basically two flints and a basic cutting fluid. That's not too bad. It does use up quite a lot of wool though, 120. Unusually high for this type of item. So that's how we make the chlorine agent. We can leave it on, doesn't use up too much LP. And then we're going to make a uh, one to prevent Enderman um, teleporting. Ender severance, I think it's called. Severance reagent, exactly. So now we're going to, and this one requires. Um, the next level, I think, requires a demonic slate. So it's a little bit higher up in the chain of things. Let's get it out here. Severance reagent. And I'm pretty sure we use a demonic slate because I've only got one or slate on my body here. So that's fine. And that's working. As you can see, we've got our work in progress. Well, it means he hasn't done the icon yet. And now we have sequel of ender severance so when that's activated as you can see it's now activated it prevents enderman teleporting so that's going to be very useful when we get to the end so the next thing i want to do is to build a bow but before we do the bow we're going to do this we're going to make a um binding reagent with a pickaxe so we're going to make a bound pickaxe now this is one of the ones which shoots lots of bolts of lightning around the place so i think i'll just set it up over here like this so we need the binding reagent first of all and then we need the pickaxe it has to be a diamond pickaxe of course and right click that into there stand out of the way because it's going to shoot bolts of lightning which of course actually hurt <laughs> and it's five bolts of lightning if you haven't and then we should get the the bound pickaxe like this so when we shift right click that, it's then active. Now it's just a normal pickaxe, but it's actually a bit faster than normal. So you, for instance, for dirt, for example, it doesn't take very much effort to break dirt. Stone also doesn't take too much effort to break stone, but it has a great feature. Um, one I really like. Before I actually do this, let me come along. Yes, I've got the right signal. I've got the signal of the blood lamp in here. So we're going to light it up. I'm going to do it down here. So this was an area. Oh, no, nope. before I do that, I need to empty out my inventory. <laughs> You'll see why in a second. Fact, now I've got a chest somewhere about in here. I haven't, probably. If I haven't got one, I'll quickly make one. Make three pieces of wood in that lot. Let's get some wood from outside here like this. Not one. Two pieces of wood. Two logs of wood. Let's quickly make up a chest. Let's go and put this chest down before we start. I'm going to come along here. I'm going to do it where I'm going to do it is I'm just going to do what I'm going to do here. Um, and maybe not. Actually, I think I've got another one of these I want to dig out actually. As opposed to this one. I thought it was this one. Alright, we'll do it here. Keep changing my mind. And what this is going to do is it's going to make a big hole. When I say big hole, I mean a very big hole. Let's put the chest down here like this. 
and let's put everything in. So I'm pressing, I'm holding down the control and space button and clicking that and it basically clicks everything out into there. I'll just keep this hot bar full of stuff. So now what you do with this thing is you hold it down and you go right click. So let's have a look, where can we go? Here for instance, and it's gonna make a big hole. So hold it down like this, right click and let go. And as you see, <laughs> it's just dug out a block of, uh, oops, <laughs> area and I've actually got I'm not sure if that's water because of sea. I don't think it's under sea. We're under the river. Let me just light up the area here. So turn on one of those. I'll just go up to the top of this. Did I break into the ocean? Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> I thought there was a reason why I didn't want to do it there. Never mind. I'll just have to come and quickly fill this in. I'll fill it in and I'll be back in a second. So right, that's finished, I've <laughs> filled the mode. Uh, you'll see that the dirt didn't actually get broken. It's only the stone and the sandstone. What else did we break in here? We also got iron ore, because it'll actually break iron and coal. So it did the coal as well. But of course it leaves this area a bit vulnerable for mobs. So let's just turn on F4 and then press, I've got here the blood lamp and we can just simply right click a blood lamp on here like this, probably about twice. It'll help light up the whole area. Is there anywhere up there? Maybe an area up there needs to be lit up as well to, to prevent them coming from behind. And there's some down here as well. And as you can see, click right click the map. The map might have been opened already. We have a quite a good mechanism for digging big holes very fast. It does use a reasonable amount of LP doing this, by the way. So now I've got all my stuff in here and I'm going to sort this out and I'll be back in a second. Next thing. Actually, there's two more things I'd like to look at. The one probe and these here. We've got them. Um, I'm going to make a sentient bow. We haven't done one of those yet. I'm not sure it's actually any better than what I've already got, but we'll find out. Let's just test it. I've got, I created, I added to the pack some, the MMMM -M mod, which allows you to create test dummies. And that's, I've set one up over here like that. So at the moment, I have got my destructive will crystal in here. I'm going to just change this as it happens. I'm going to put it in in this chest for the time being. And I'm going to take out of here the greater turret. turret. Generally, it's got a 3,000, well, nearly 3,000, nearly 4,000 um, LP in there, no, will in there. So let's first of all test this. So have I got any arrows from me? No, I need some arrows because my other bow has got infinite arrows and they don't need to have any arrows i'll show you that first of all let's have a look set up the existing bow i've got here which has got enchanting on it so it's got infinity it's got insight three that gives me um extra lp i think it is no extra xp when you shoot it power five punch one multi-shot four and unbreaking three so multi-shot four basically means it uses sends out four arrows for the price of one but because i've got infinity it's not using any anyway so that Stand back here and shoot the dummy right in the head. And I get a 14. And we keep doing this. And this time I've got a 23. So it does vary a bit. 17. 19. But it's fairly high. It's certainly it's been over. Um, it's been nearly over 15 every time, hasn't it? Which is 15 hearts of damage. So that's basically a one-shot kill weapon. Now let's go and do that with this bow here like this. I of course put the arrows back because I wanted to prove that the other one didn't need arrows. Oh, there we have seven arrows, not very many, but it's enough for what demonstration. So now let's shoot this one. 8.5. It's nowhere near as good. Well, let's just take this wheel out of here now because I'm come back over here and try that again. Without any wheel. 2.5 2.5 so it's a pretty useless weapon with by itself now let's come back over actually let's take the two out of here it'll use the one with the most um will so the one with most will is a destructive will one here so it's got six thousand and let's try this so it also changes its color and it creates an explosion so 19 that's fairly decent isn't it 
18 so it's but it's not higher than the ones before so what what also useful about this is you can take this and you can oops i've shot myself with arrows already haha <laughs> Let's get, another, let's get some more arrows because you need arrows with this one irrespective of whether you've got infinity on it or not so, so we shoot this one over here for instance I didn't see it land let's have a look try again see I'm not seeing the arrow when it's landing it doesn't stay there because the arrow itself explodes so now let's put this demon wheel back again out of here one of the things I'm and let's shoot it again. This time it's green. Actually, I can't even see the arrow. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. So you see that one there. Try again. It's like this. It's an almost invisible arrow. And the problem with this, when we're in the nether, when we're at the end, we won't be able to see the arrows where we're shooting them. There's a mob over there. That's what, Let's go and test this on the mobs. So 19 is 19 hearts. So that's easily a one kill weapon for zombies. I think it's probably a one kill weapon for everything. Let's just get the, the will out of here. Actually, no, let's not. Let's just use the one we've already got. So Now this is a bit strange because I was using this. I was testing this out. Unfortunately, I think these mobs are underground, aren't they? Um, all right, we'll wait till night time and then we'll go and do a bit of mob hunting. So the next thing I'd like to do with these is to enchant them, because why not? Because you can. I've got in here uh, enchant, I think. Yes, that's right. So I've got here a power five punch two. Let's go and enchant this bow. If I can get in. And I think this, uh, yeah, it's very damaged. Probably got about one or two more um, items in here before it breaks. Let's have a look. Cost of 10. So when we've got our LP book here, wherever it's gone to, the Tumor Perita. I pronounced that incorrectly as usual. So let's give ourselves 10 LP if out of there. And then enchant this bow. Like that. So now this is a power 5 bow. Let's go and see what difference that makes to the, to the test dummy here. 14.5. Thirteen. Now, is it my imagination? Has <laughs> it gone down? <laughs> no, it was eight point five before, wasn't it? That's right. Yes. Just remembering which will I've set up in there is uh, sometimes the hard. But let's take this. Let's take this one out of here. Of course, when I'm using this bow and actually just hit, hitting mobs, it will, in fact, um, give me more will into the gem. Sorry, gem. Ten. Oh. 15 14.5 so it's now I might gone has it got worse might have got worse actually let's go back over here and then take the wrong one I wanted the next book out of here which in fact is in here of course and that was the infinity book I think about an infinity in flame now the reason I'm going to use flame is so you can see where the arrows travel so for instance, if we go over here now and we shoot over there, the arrow disappeared. We can't, see, and if it doesn't disappear, we can't see it. Now, with the flame on it, it's going to allow us to see where it's travelling to, which is going to be very useful in the end, of course, because in the end, if you need to be able to sit in the wrong place, let's just put it over here. How much? How much? Help? We need twelve for this. So it's not too expensive. Let's get the twelve out. Of the book, I so don't need this one here. I don't need the sigil of the claw on. Let's just turn that off before I forget. Where has it gone to? To Perita. So we need 12 LP out of here, XP out of here, and then we should be able to enchant this book. So now we've got infinity on it. That infinity, in this case, I'll put these arrows away. Let's put them in here, for example doesn't work you can you can come over here and you can right click as long as you like it's not going to work so we've got 52 arrows in here so let's come across here now aim this thing and shoot it 
So you see it's actually, you saw the flame this time. So we've got an idea of where it's traveling to. And, but it didn't use the arrows, so we don't use any arrows. Important to notice that. Now, last thing from this chest was the one probe. And the recipe for them, actually is quite cheap one, this. The recipe for that, comparator, gold nugget in glowstone. Comparator is basically four pieces of, end up with four pieces of, one piece of nether quartz, four pieces of redstone, one plank, and some stone. That's basically it. But it's reasonably cheap. Anyway, what you can do with this, if you look at a chest and press shift, it tells you what's in the chest, in the, in the one pro window like that now the next thing you can do with this is you can actually put it on your helmets if you look at the uses of this here it shows you can have it on diamond helmet and iron helmet and a gold helmet and you're going all right so i can't use it on my living armor helmet actually that's wrong <laughs> you can if you look at here it's got respiration three aqua affinity and protection three if I put this back on here and the resulting one will have probing as well so we can take this out of here and put it back on our heads and with probing, I don't need it in my hand. I can still press shift on these and see exactly what's in the chests. Isn't that neat? <laughs> so that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Learned something new. And anyway, next time we're going to go to the end. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to just see if I can improve any of my weapons. So until then, all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>